Hi friends, welcome to UGC Net Online Pre Coaching. This is the fourth lecture in lecture series December 2005. Today I will discuss question number 31 to 40. Already I have discussed question number 1 to question number 30 in three lecture series. This is 31st question. The register or main memory locations which contains the effective address of the operands is known as actually register and main memory location which contains the effective address of the operands is known as pointers indexed register special locations and scratch pad and uh, for looking these two uh, suddenly you can you will get i hope uh, you will get a 50 50 either pointer or index register so effective address operand it is obviously it is a pointer but why it is pointer the effective address of the operand is in the contents of the register or main memory location. Location those whose address appears in the instructions. In direction is noted by placing the name of the register or the memory address given in the instruction in parenthesis. The register or main location that contains the address of the operand is a pointer. That's why the register or main location that contains the address of the operand is known as pointer when an exec execution takes place in such mode instruction may be told to go to the specific address once it's there instead of finding an operand it finds an address where the operand is located that's why the register and main memory location which contains effective address of the operand is known as pointer i hope i have explained in detail for this one if you have, if you want more about this just go through this link so answer is a look at 30 second the top down parse generates i hope it's a very familiar question many times it asked it is top down parser it is left most duration a top down parsing can be viewed as an attempt to find left most derivation for an input string it can be viewed, viewed as an attempt to construct a parse tree in a pre order a general form of the top down parsing is called recursive descent parsing a left recursive grammar can cause a top down parser to go into an infinite loop therefore to use the top down parsing we must eliminate left recursion from the grammar why i have I highlighted three points actually top down parsing is a left derivative bottom up is a right derivative keep this one and it should parse tree in pre order and uh, this these questions asked in some other question paper so that's why i have i have uh, highlighted these three words general form of the top down parsing is called recursive descent parsing that is also very important so keep these points so answer is a look at next question the general macro processor is an built-in function of it is a very straightforward question that is assembler no need of explanation i hope because it is the part of assembler so no need uh, if you want just uh, read Do, uh, john donoman book okay next we'll move to the next one which of the following is not a collision resolution technique same question asked in question number 32 december 2004 which of the following is not a collision resolution technique already i have explained in detail what is collision resolution technique mm, uh, what are the techniques for collision resolution and uh, others I have explained in detail in uh, uh, third part of uh, lecture series December 2004 who are newcomers who are already uh, subscribed my channel they know what is exactly this uh, for this question answer who are newcomers just to go through uh, my uh, previous lecture series question number part third in December 2004 so in that I have explained in detail just go through it uh, for co which of the following is not collision resolution technique is indexing hash shuttering and chaining are the collision resolution techniques okay next one is which activity is not included in the first pass of two, two pass assembler this question is asked in 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री इन टू जून टू थाउजेंड फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव इन डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड फाइव सो इट इस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड इन डिटेल दिस टू जस्ट गो थ्रू इट सो आंसर इज बी प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम कैन बी सॉल्व यूजिंग एक्चुअली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वन इज प्रोड्यूसर कंज्यूमर प्रॉब्लम डाइनिंग फिलोसफर प्रॉब्लम एंड रेडर राइटर प्रॉब्लम दीज थ्री प्रॉब्लम इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू कैन सॉल्व यूजिंग सेमाफोर्स एंड मॉनिटर्स यू नो फैमिलियर यू नो वट इज सेमाफोर एंड मॉनिटर एनी हाउ लुक एट वन इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मस्ट प्रोवाइड फॉर द मीन ऑफ क्रोसेस सिंक्रोनाइजेशन सम ऑफ द सिंक्रोनाइजेशन टेक्निक इंक्लूड म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूजन सेमाफोर्स एंड मॉनिटर these two these are the techniques used for synchronization actually producer consumer problem can be solved using any of the these technique so answer is all of these answer number is d okay so producer consumer problem and dining philosopher problem and reader writer problems these problems can be solved using semaphores or monitors or mutual exclusion event counter i hope you understood this one it's a very familiar problems in operating system just go through it in detail for these problems okay if you have anything just mail me okay so look at next question if you want to execute more than one program at a time the system software that are used must be capable of if you want to execute more than one problem one program at a time the system software that are used must be in question only there is answer just read carefully like this questions word processing it is it is a single uh, software it is used for single user no need of uh, multi virtual memory it is unrelated to the question compiling and multitasking you may get a confusion but uh, compiling also it is not used because multitasking uh, here if you want to execute more than one program at a time more than one program at a time uh, uh, for this word only you can understand easily this is a multitasking means what time sharing so answer is time sharing or multitasking is a logical extension of multi programming in time sharing system the cpu executes multiple jobs by switching among them but the switches occurs occur so frequently that the users can interact with each program while it is running so uh, multitasking or time sharing is used to uh, run more than one program at a time so answer is b uh, i hope there is no confusion it's a very straight forward question you can answer this type questions if you in question only there is answer please um, while answering these type of question be careful uh, at least use some common sense so which of the following checks cannot be carried out on the input data to a system actually uh, which of the following checks cannot be carried out on the input data to the system consistency check syntax check and range check actually uh, which is not carried out input data input data uh, in con consistency check and uh, syntax check actually syntax check it is carried out after inputting but the question is while inputting so obviously it is not syntax check means what definitely it is not all of these so which is cannot be carried out definitely it is a syntax check okay so there is no need of additional explanation for this question this one non modifiable procedure are called this one same question asked in question number 39 december 2004 in third lecture series of uh, december 2004 i have explained in detail what is non modifiable procedure so just go through it Uh, if you have still any query, just mail me. Okay, uh, look at the law. so answer is retrant reentrant procedure. This is non-modifiable procedure. Answer is C. 
same question I have explained in uh, December 2004, question number 39, fourth lecture series. Just to go through it. Okay. Look at 40th question. Banker's algorithm is used for same question asked in question number 38, June 2005. If you already uh, you are a subscriber of my channel, you know you have already seen these. Um, you have solved these questions. I have explained in details in uh, June 2005 uh, lecture number four, part four. So again, same question. Uh, look at that. in this question paper. There are so many questions repeated either in 2004 and 2005. So be careful. Same question, same type or same questions arrive. In uh, next questions while answering these type of question so after studying in uh, complete all the subjects just go through all the questions uh, try to solve okay this is 40th question bankers algorithm is used used for dash purpose that is definitely dead lack avoidance uh, already I have explained in detail in June 2005 question number 38 means part 4 so just go through it um, if you have any queries anything just mail me I have told many time if you have any problem just you need to clear all my viewers need to clear December 2015th exam I wish you all the best you uh, for please all of you try to work hard if you have any queries anything just you mail me and definitely I will reply in one or two days uh, uh, please and please share and subscribe the video so thanks to all my viewers